Hello everyone, welcome back to Mojo Grip. I am Mike and today we're gonna check out the Pippa Show Sinus. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey guys, so here is another Pippa Show model. A lot of you who watch this channel are probably familiar with the brand Pippa Show. And about the only aircraft that I've covered of Pippa Show is the Panthera. But as you know, the Panthera is still in some limbo right now because it's awaiting certification. But if you don't know this, Pippa Show also has a lot of these small, great airplanes. All over the world and the one that's standing in front of me is the sinus uh, you may pronounce it as sinus uh, we'll talk about the name a little bit later but here is the sinus it's a high wing okay and it, it, if you can see let me stretch the camera all the way this is a really really long wing and that's because this aircraft is a motor glider okay if you're not familiar with motor gliders these things uh, they stay afloat longer in the air as compared to just your standard airplanes and that's why it has those long wings okay but let's talk about it all right standard the center comes as a tail wheel but this is an LSA it's a light sport and you can get tail wheel uh, with a light sport aircraft but uh, a lot of the people who fly these or buy these they buy them in this model right here with the nose gear and the tricycle uh, landing gear all right let's just go around it for a minute man these wings are super super long okay and guys I just went on a flight on this <laughs> and I'll share that video with you soon um, this definitely is a different type of flying and to fly one of these uh, you would have to get your certification uh, for gliders and a lot of the pilots or owners who fly this have to do that okay but let's go around it all right as you can see the the only airplane that comes to mind that i can really compare this to in terms of the look of fence um, is the uh, flight design okay that's one of the few airplanes that i've seen that looks very much like this but trust me i've flown the flight design at least the, the much older version of the flight design and it doesn't fly anything like this then uh, this is probably one of the most balanced high wing airplanes that I've been in as you can see here it's a t-tail and if you've watched my channel long enough you know I have a personal preference for t-tails that's because I trained in an aircraft that has one just like this and I just I like the look of it now they do serve a function obviously uh, but just aesthetically I think it looks really good and if you look here rudders back here your elevator very simple design and again standard typically you would have a tail wheel right there see right there but a lot of the uh, a lot of the pilots who buy these get them in tricycle landing gear all right now moving on up this aircraft also standard you get about 16 gallons of fuel that's the capacity but you can always upgrade to 24 or 26 gallons uh, if you are into flying for long cross country which is one of the missions that this aircraft serves okay light sports generally get a wrap for you know, being a light sport, you can't really take them on long cross-country flights. But this thing will go far with only 24, 26 gallons of fuel in it. Okay? So let me show you. Let's get closer to it. We'll check out the interior. But first, let me talk about the engine bay. So your standard Sinus only comes with an 80 horsepower road tax engine. Now, I'm going to review another airplane here, which is called the Verus. And that has a higher... Uh, performance engine you get 20 more horsepower with that and you go faster with that these props it's a two-bladed prop but you can feather it all right this th it can do this and that comes in handy when you're in the air and I'll show you the flight video that we just we just went on this thing it's it's pretty awesome to just shut the engine off on this airplane 
five thousand feet in the air, you feather the prop, and you're just you're just there. You're flying. The airplane is still flying with no engine. Okay, it was pretty scary at first, but once you settle in, then it's balanced. You don't even have to move anything. But anyway, let's check out the uh, the interior. Actually, let me go from the left side and show you the interior. Okay, so here is the interior. Very nice leather stitching, red leather interior. Now the cockpit or the cabin space, the cabin width of this aircraft is about 44 inches. I just went on the flight we ran. We're pretty standard size adults and it was very comfortable in the airplane. Uh, if you look in the dash here, so if you were to buy this airplane, it will come standard uh, with your gauges. And if you upgrade to, you know, depend on whichever avionics, the typical is a Dynan, uh, is Dynan avionics because it's lighter and it's also less expensive, say, than a Garmin uh, avionics. But guess what? We went on our flight with an iPad and he took it off once we got off. But if you can see back there, this is probably a cooling fan for the iPad. If you were to go fly on a hot day like today your ipad is going to need a lot of cooling and we were up there for about an hour it was perfectly good all the information we were using for a flight and uh everything came out really good literally on the screen you had all of your flight information right there this here is where you get your engine data you get your all temperature all that good stuff um so on this side again you have your Stand around gauges, compass up there. Uh, this is your speed. And I forgot what was showing here, but you've got all that you need. And also here you have kind of like a, your operating manual. So you have your VNE, which is 120 knots, um, your stall speeds, 34 and 40. Okay, with flaps or without flaps. And here, now, when you sit in this airplane, you see uh, that you can stretch your foot forward. And the cool thing is that the rudder pedals are adjustable. So let me show you here. Let's get the camera in. You pull this round knob here, and then you can pull or push the, uh, the rudder pedals towards you or away from you. Um, I'm 5'10". When I got in here, I was able to just pull that and stretch my feet forward. All right, there's nothing much to it. And also, I love that the, the cockpit here is not, it's very simple. You don't have too many buttons. And this is one of the advantages of having or flying an LSA airplane. You don't have too many things uh, going for you here. As you can see, let me just show you around. Here's your ignition, okay, your master switch, avionics, and these are your, all the electronics, okay? Not too much stuff, okay? And right there is your throttle. This is the throttle right here. Here, behind it, is your flaps. So you have your levels or degrees of flaps, okay? And if you go further up, let me show you here. You will find two other things. This here is air brakes. And because this thing likes to fly, okay, and if you don't actually use this on your landings, you may float longer than you want to. So that's why these come with the airplane. You probably, I, think, I believe it's an option. I don't think it comes standard with it, but it is recommended that you get one. And then behind it there, let's get closer, is your parachute, which is also an option. Uh, and according to Rand, who is the dealer here, uh, right now, they're doing some type of promotion where you get that for free, okay? But you'd have to talk to him about that. And behind there is your audio jacks. These only come with two of them. You have two seats, so two audio jacks, all right? And the seats, they're flat, but they were comfortable, at least for the hour that I was in this airplane. Uh, the seats are very comfortable in there, and I like the, the shoulder harness here and it has the Pippa show sign on it so you get a really good package with this thing all right let me get in and show you a few things uh, about the comfort level in here okay let me just get in and I'll turn the camera around okay guys so this is me sitting in here 
comfortably. Let me show you the rest of my body if I can get it here. Now, one thing you'll notice about this airplane and probably all the airplanes designed in this way, let me get the camera to show my feet or my legs. This is how you're sitting. You're not sitting like this. You generally have to, because the, the base of the, the airplane is sort of flat. So your leg stretches out and you've got your control stick right here within reach that you can maneuver the airplane. Okay, again, um, I don't know what the maximum height of the typical pilot will be for this airplane, but generally, you know, when people talk about LSA as a light sport, uh, they say, well, if you're on the big side or if you're a bigger guy, it gets tighter in there or if you're on the taller side, but I still have some room I showed I showed you the the rudder pedals earlier, okay, and I still have some room. Uh, you probably can't see it because my thin <laughs> stops there. But when I stretch my leg all the way, again being 5'10", I still have room here where I can go even further. So more than likely, somebody who's a little bit or even much taller than I am can fit in here comfortably. And if you look at my headroom here, you see I still got a couple of inches above me. So again, somebody on the taller side will be able to fit in this airplane very comfortably. This is your view. And so you can see all of the front of the airplane very nicely. And it's not the, the widest uh, cockpit. So your, your vision should be pretty good. And also you've got this really large opening here with the, uh, with the windows once this closes in. Uh, you have really good visibility all around. Same thing on the other side. And now, earlier I was talking about the iPad and Rand just came in to, to put that in. So this is what you use for this airplane. Now, again, if you're buying one of these, you have options as to what type of avionics you want. But if you want to go really simple, you just need an iPad. iPad, for flight, and you've got all of this. All right, this, these are going to be your flight display here. This thing has ADS-B, so you can you can see traffic, all right? You're able to see traffic around you. Uh, now, this is just ADS-B in, um, but again, you've got your maps. Um, let me take this out of the screen. And earlier when we were, went on the flight, we were able to see traffic on display. Uh, it's a, the thing was able to tell us where the traffic is, and all of this were pretty accurate in your uh, your ground speed, uh, airspeed, how fast you're going. And then if you really want to get more accurate, just look right right there, just a, an inch away, and you've got your uh, airspeed there. Now, to be able to get the ADS-B, this is the device that's being used. Okay, Scout, this thing costs 200 bucks. Okay, so if you want to save some money, you can do that. But again, you can also get your... Uh, avionics package with a diamond or garment um, and you're good to go and guys this is not the most expensive LSS that you find in the market the starting price for these things 125 grand and then depending on the options that you add on to it you can go all the way up to 140 or 160 that's pretty much maxed out you have some LSAs right now that you're you're looking north of two hundred thousand uh, dollars but you get this all of this with even the dining avionics and your tops at one hundred and sixty thousand dollars now if you want to learn more about it i'm going to leave a link below uh, in paper show's website pippershowusa.com and you guys can find out more you can ask questions or just leave in the comments below if you have any uh questions about the airplane as a matter of fact i'll get uh the rep here to get on the video and answer your questions for you or you can just reach out to them directly but here it is guys this is the Pippa Show Sinus I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give a thumbs up and if this is your first time you better hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna be having a lot more airplane videos for you alright take care thanks for watching I'll catch you on the next video peace